Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hello guys, so apparently I didn't think that this video needs an intro, so I'm gonna quickly let you know what's happening today. So today we're doing the pink squirrels and nude lipstick swatches. And yeah, there is not really much more to say than that. So I really hope you can enjoy the video and let's get back to it. Now this one is called uh, Roman Roma, Roman Roman Roman. It looks like this. Alright, let's pop it on. There we are. That was a really quick one. Um, I think this is a very comfortable. Um, wearable pink Revlon. Now these are more like a lip balm, I guess you could say. Comes in packaging like that, like this. Now uh, this has been used and loved a lot, so it looks a little bit messy. It's in the color Honey Douche. Honey Douche. Um, this has a quite strong um, mint smell in case you don't like it just so you are aware of it before you buy it um, I'd say that you can feel the um, the mintiness of the product on your lips um, however if you can look past it it's I think quite a nice um, pinky lip balm from L'Oreal um, and it's uh, the zero one fashionista pink packaging looks like this to be honest um, I am not really I'm not really concerned when it comes to packaging as long as the product performs now this <laughs> is also a very much uh, used and loved lipstick so it le looks looks a little beaten up so please excuse use that, it looks like that. I think this is a good place to start because despite the fact that it has like a pinky um, um, color to it, it's very muted down and um, it's almost like has a, like a white pink. It's, um, it's comfortable on the lips however the same powder isn't that good but I think it's a color that a lot of people could easily pull off color pop is their lippy stick and um, it's the color Lumiere matte um, I will say in front that I really I really like this color so it looks like this and let's uh, take it off I love everything about it. I think it's a color that a lot of people could pull off really easily, easily because it's not a really light color but it's not a dark color either. It's like a nice medium. Now this is a matte formula. However you can see it has a really pretty shine. It does dry down a little bit and uh, it stays on all day uh, even after eating or drinking and uh, I would just really recommend also they're really affordable ones and I believe this one was one of the lipsticks that Kathleen Light here on YouTube um, also helped uh, choosing the color and I think it's gorgeous and I think it's very wearable very flattering to a lot of different skin tones and I do recommend and I love it a little bit expensive so I'm really sorry guys but I really feel like I need to mention this one and it's from NARS it's their um, matte lip pencils um, but uh, honestly I just use it like a lipstick because that's how I roll do you if you feel like you want to use eyeshadows for contour you want to use lipsticks for blushes do you because if it works for you then why not uh, and the color looks like this it's called Dolce Vita and it's uh, a really nice color I'll show you in a second I don't think the camera is gonna probably do it justice 
is like a rusty reddish orange it's so gorgeous it almost has a slight pink twist in as well but it's just gorgeous i think it's like it's like a burned coral with some red in it i don't know i just think it's absolutely gorgeous it's also the matte formula the wear time is really good for this product but it is a little bit more on the expensive side so um if you don't want to splurge for this item there are a lot of other lipsticks that are just as good coming up another fake now i do feel really guilty this needs to be taken up because it was in a stationary position for a while and it's separated like for real um this is a fake that i found also on amazon um it's a fake for the well-known dose it's a fake for the well-known dose of colors it's the color the desert suede now the doe foot applicator looks like this it's not too bad but it's on a smaller side which just means you're gonna have to dip in quite a few times to get a full full dip out of it now let's get started with this one it's quite a dusty rose i feel like at least on me um the formula isn't the best and while it's drying it's quite sticky I don't know if you can see that and sometimes it can move the pigment around when you do that and it does dry down completely so it has that really dry feeling now if you don't mind that then that's a really affordable product for you I try to find all the links for all the products that I mentioned in this video below right next one the Gerard Cosmetics, um, it does dry down semi-matte, it still transfers, um, however even though it transfers some of, uh, some of the color stays put on your lips. However, I don't know if that's only me, or please let me know if anyone else has been experience, uh, experiencing this with this particular product. When I ru run my thumb on the inside of the lip, I can almost feel the lipstick is like being moved it's almost like it creates a layer um, on the lips and I feel like I can move that layer with my tongue is anyone else experiencing this or is it just me please let me know and uh, yeah good product though overall next one it's from Revlon and it's from the line color burst color burst color burst well done me um lip butters it is in number 050 and it's called very smoothly looks like this i love the packaging i don't have much left because uh, i love this one and it looks like this sorry i know it looks a little manky but that tends to happen with lipsticks when you use them on a regular basis uh, oops, let's put this let's put this on mm -hmm. okay. i don't know if you can tell but this lipstick is uh, really wet and i mean and in it's really shiny it has a slight smell to it but you can't really smell it after you put it on um it is a lip butter so you kind of expect it to be uh, really moisturizing which it is mm, it's really comfortable on the lips um, if you expected a berry color though, then you're probably going to be surprised because I don't think this looks much like a berry A1 lipstick. It's really <laughs> pretty packaging. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's one of those packagings that tend to get dirty really easy and have your fingerprints all over because it has that matte feeling to it. Now, um, it's called mauve mauve matters and it looks like this i believe it's from the matte collection however i might be mistaken so i'll put the information below and on the screen so yeah also i think 
I haven't worn this one particular, however, all of the ones that I will show you in the next video um, is very long lasting. Um, some of them have that matte consistency that dries down completely, which means it will stay on your lips pink initially even though it's called mauve matters but I don't think it's uh, mauve at all in my opinion but also would recommend quite affordable so if you like this color this is how it looks so there you go so this has been all of the new pinky corally lipsticks so yeah this has been all I really hope you enjoyed this video Please let me know if there is anything you would like to see me do specifically, if you would like me to do a tutorial with any of the lipsticks mentioned in the previous or this video. Please let me know your thoughts, uh, please like and uh, subscribe if you like this video and comment if you would like to uh, do so and yeah. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed. Please have a lovely day and take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!